Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be loading up Back to the Future, the game for Commodore 64. Now I have not loaded up this game probably in 30 years, so I'm not even sure if this tape even still works. So without further ado, uh, let's get it started. This game did come back, come out I think in 1985. It was released by Electric Dreams. And it looks like it's going. Now I'll admit that I didn't play this game too much just because I had so many other games that I was playing at the time uh, usually my game of choice was Iridium um, but this game I did buy I believe from a mail order company in London that's when I was living there but from what I do remember there is uh, it, this game does include the uh, the Power of Love theme tune by Huey Lewis and the News. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a copyright violation once I post this video to YouTube, fully anticipating that. If you do have a moment, please go ahead and subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. That will allow other Commodore 64 enthusiasts to find my videos a little bit easier due to the YouTube search algorithm. So please just take a moment to subscribe. It looks like the game has loaded up here. Forgive me because, as I said, it's been quite a while since I've played this. Pretty sure that was a demo. <laughs> At least I hope it was. All right, let me go ahead and hit F1 and start this thing up. It 
So it's joystick in port 2. I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. So, I'm still trying to figure out what to do here. Uh, So I just grabbed the uh, the instructions from the game, from the cassette, and So I'm reading the instructions here, um, I'm not sure how much this is going to hear, but basically... Just going to mute this for a second. So... Yeah, I just muted the music for there for a second. So basically, um, so at the bottom of the screen is Marty's photograph. As you play the game, the picture will either build up or be erased. As more pictures is erased, the future is corrupted and your existence gets in jeopardy. The family photograph to the bottom right of the screen, uh, it, um, which Marty carries around with him showing him and his brother and sister. As Marty's photograph is completely erased or revealed, this photograph will, ha will have another segment removed or added. If this photograph is completely revealed, then you will have succeeded in preserving the future and the existence of yourself and your family. If, however, this photograph is completely erased, then you will have failed to save yourself and family and the future will no longer contain you. The object icons, uh, to save your future, you as Marty must make sure that your future parents, George and Lorraine, fall in love. As they spend more time together, they they must stand next to each other um, so they will fall in love. And segments will be added to Marty's photograph and the family photograph. There are four different sorts of objects which are shown on the four left hand icons at the top of the screen these are love poems in the film marty writes these for george to recite to lorraine in the coffee shop these may be found in the school there's a cup of coffee this is from the coffee shop the alien suit in the film marty disguises himself as an alien to frighten george into going to the school dance with lorraine this can be found in doc brown's house and a guitar. Marty plays this at the school dance. The guitar can be found in the dance hall. As he walk past these objects, their icon in the top of the screen lights up yellow. If you pick one of them up, 
you can only carry one at a time, then the icon will turn white to show what you are carrying. You may then use the object to influence one of the other characters when you are close enough to them. You can tell when you are close enough because their character icon will turn white. The same object may have different effects on different people. You may find it useful to make a list of effects different objects have on different characters. The effect will always be one of the following. The character will turn away, the character will follow you, the character will st stand still, the character will ignore the object. Now as far as character icons are concerned, um, at the bottom of the screen in the center are four character icons which refer to Dr. Emmett Brown, George, Lorraine, and Biff. These indicate when characters are affecting each other's behavior. If one character meets any other and is not already doing something, then their icon will flash white. If you wish to influence another character's behavior with one of the objects, then you must get close to the character. When you're close enough, their icon will turn white. Then if you use the object, then the icon will turn green for as long as they are under the influence of the object. For instance, if you wish to make Lorraine stand still, you might collect the alien suit, then find Lorraine, then find Lorraine, and then when her icon turns white, use the alien suit. Then her icon will turn green and she will stay the same place until the influence of the alien suit wears off and her character icon turns to blue. These icons can be useful for locating characters who are off screen. If you keep a watch on who on who's meeting and influencing who, they will also they're also very uh, useful for telling when jo telling when George and Lorraine are together. All right, I'm gonna uh, try this again. Um, let's see, is this one in two? Yeah, this one's in two. You put the music back on. Let's start another game. <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe I should uh, turn. Let's see, so level four, let me try something a little bit easier. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's see how this turns out. F1. Where you at?
How about George? Oh, did George come in? Get up. As you can see, I struggled in that game. Uh, it's pretty tough, but anyway, at least you get to see the graphics. And um, game though, time is about two minutes. Uh, there's a nice uh, loading screen, but um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll play this game a little bit more and uh, get used to the controls. Uh, but yeah, this is Back to the Future for the Commodore 64. And it was released by Electric Dreams in 1985. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.